Hello everyone and welcome back to my GDScript tutorials. Today we are looking at what are called match statements. I love match statements because they're very similar to something in C++ called switch statements. What match statements are is they check, they're very similar to if statements. They check if something is true and if it's not it runs something else. So what you're asking is why would we use if statements? I don't know. I love to use match statements rather than if statements, but you know, we'll see. So let's delete all this and we'll keep our variables though. So we're going to make a match and we're going to match our variable C. And then with match C, it's going to, ch you can make different cases. So we're going to see if, if it's hello, why do I keep on adding that afterwards? So if it if it's hello, we can just do print hello. If it's hello, it will print hello. And if it's, you know, poop I don't know it'll be poop you don't have to set this print to whatever this is but we can just do that so when we run this we're gonna see that it says hello but if we change this to our lowercase hello we're gonna see that it says hello we can change this lowercase to hello to like whatever you want and we can run it and we'll get that and if we change it to poop I mean, obviously, it's going to say poop. So that's all I really have to show you with match statements. Match statements are very powerful because you can check if, like, inputs are pressed or if a sound is playing, if sound isn't playing. They're very powerful. But this is just very simple with variables. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everyone.